Fulton Endura XE. How to commission size is 399,000 through 750,000 BTUs. The top cover is secured with two screws. Use a four millimeter Allen key and remove the two screws holding the top panel in place, then remove the top panel. The front door has two additional screws that secure it to the top of the cabinet, where the door can then be lifted and removed from the boiler to expose the boiler. To update the software, first check the software version on the Pure Display. Compare that to the latest available software. If it is up to date, no software update is required. To update the software, follow the IOM to load the software onto a suitable flash drive, a minimum of 16 gigabyte USB 3 flash drive that is FAT32 configured is suggested. The flash drive with the software loaded on it should be inserted into the side of the pure display. Press and hold the upper right hand corner of the display in order to gain access to the Uni apps. Select the arrow next to the username and select admin. The password is Fulton, all lowercase, with a capital A at the end. Once it's accepted, select the Upgrades tab, followed by Panel Upgrades. To start, check and update the firmware if necessary. By selecting Update Firmware, if the firmware is up to date, move over to the User App Upgrade and select Import Application. It will give a warning message about the import of the application. Go ahead and select Import. It typically takes about five minutes for the update to complete. It can take as long as 20 minutes. Once all tasks are completed, a prompt will inquire about preferences for resetting factory defaults and loading user preferences via a series of checkboxes. For further information, please reference the Pure Control IOM. From here, notice that after a software update, the boiler is selected in manual and in the off position. It's essential to verify that all settings align with the intended set point and boiler control before proceeding. Go in and reset the retain tags after an update before loading user defaults. Verify the boiler size. The first step on the commissioning of the boiler is to check the incoming power to make sure it is within the appropriate range of 120 volts AC. This should be checked between the E1 and ground and hot and neutral. They should be equal between those two points. Please make sure to follow all local PPE and safety requirements while checking power. Prepare a water tube manometer and a combustion analyzer. The combustion test port is located through and can be accessed through the front of the boiler. There is a test port located in the combustion elbow. Incoming gas pressure is checked underneath where the low gas pressure switch is located. This is a quarter inch NPT tapping. A slack tube manometer should be used to check gas pressures in and around the boiler. The gas pressure range for the Endura XE boiler is 7 to 14 inches of water column. Remove the main valve downstream gas pressure test port plug and thread in a test port fitting. A test port also needs to be installed in the 8th inch NPT for the fan discharge pressure. There is a quarter inch port on the back of the air switch. Attach a manometer to each test port. If only one manometer is available, test each pressure one at a time. Navigate to Tech Tools, then Commissioning. Start the burner. The boiler is now going into pre-purge. The goal is to gradually progress up the curve while monitoring the combustion O2 values on the flue gas analyzer and the manifold pressure at the suction side of the blower. Ensuring a maintenance of 1.3 inches of negative vacuum at the suction side of the blower and a nominal O2 level in the exhaust is essential. Once high fire is reached, set the main valve downstream. Stop at each point to make sure that combustion is safe while approaching high fire. Changes to combustion should only be made if required to maintain safe combustion O2, flame stability, or to satisfy the manifold air switch. Once high fire is reached, set the main valve downstream pressure per the test fire sheet. Adjust combustion as necessary at high fire. 
If reaching high fire is not possible due to site limitations, refer to the test fire sheet for the maximum point that can be reached and set the main valve downstream pressure according to that maximum point. The values, the positions of the blower air and fuel valve that are listed on the test fire sheet should only be used as a reference. Manifold pressure, fan discharge pressure, and O2 are much more important to reach than the air servo, fuel servo, or blower position. While working down the curve by selecting run for each point, the goal is to dial in combustion, adjusting for the O2 and the fan discharge and manifold pressures accordingly. Once the combustion curve is correct and completed, the ignition position should be set to meet the test fire sheet requirements. The local IP address and local Ethernet IP address should be set in order on the boiler, starting at 100 for the last three and moving itself up to 109. Do not skip numbers. Go to 100, 101, 102 and continue up. In order to use the lead lag on the system, select from standalone and select lead lag. Select how the boilers will rotate. Please reference the IOM for the peer control for further instructions. Universal data is what sets up the boiler for where information is coming into the boiler or is being supplied by the boiler. Once selected, there are numerous different options for the boiler network. Selecting the boiler network would indicate that one of the accompanying boilers has the information and is sharing it on the network. Physically wired would mean that a sensor or input is wired to the boiler and will therefore broadcast on the boiler network. Off indicates a lack of interest at that input. BMS would indicate that it is coming in from the building management system. The Modbus address is used for BMS communication. This can be changed right here through the screen. The Modbus ID, Change Modbus ID can be selected, then it will populate into the Modbus ID. The baud rate and other information is available there. At the bottom of the screen, the override is available in the event of lost BMS communication and can be enabled accordingly. To test the low gas pressure switch, turn the fuel supply off to the boiler and attempt to run it. Reset the alarm to prepare for testing the next safety. To test the blocked combustion air inlet, physically block the air inlet while the boiler attempts to pre-purge. Reset the alarm to prepare for testing the next safety. To test the high gas pressure switch, close the ball valve that is downstream of the main gas valves and attempt to run the boiler. Once the boiler attempts to ignite, the high gas pressure safety switch should trip. Additionally, the following safeties also need to be tested. Air switch, high gas pressure switch, low gas pressure switch, low water. Once the combustion safety checks are completed and the paperwork is filled out, the boiler cabinet can be put back together, first by reinstalling the door on its slides, and then securing the hardware to secure the door to the cabinet. Go ahead and reinstall the cover and the accompanying hardware. Ensure that the boiler is modulating normal. Allow the boiler to light 10 times, either in automatic or by manually cycling the load switch on the front of the boiler. The boiler can now be released into normal operation.